like to think that you're already aware of Riol, who is a J-pop artist, because I did cover her earlier this year. It was back in... I think it was April. I think I covered her music in April, and to be honest, I remember giving her a 7.5 out of 10. But it really should have got an 8, because that shit slaps and is one of the best albums of the year. Maybe even an 8.5, actually. Kind of goes to show that I do say many times that the score isn't essential to my reviews. It is really just a feeling in that moment, in that time period, but opinions change. It is actually a fantastic album and it truly is one of the best of the year, but you may not have seen that video, you may have let it slip by you, you don't recognise her name, and that is because really, especially in the Western world, she's not a huge name, really. She's not a massive artist. She's doing well for herself, and to be fair, she is spreading across the globe quite quickly. Her following seems to be getting bigger and bigger as time goes on, but there's still something that feels quite niche about her, and undiscovered. Which is crazy to me because I do think she is one of the most exciting artists in music period at the moment and that's even without the album that came out this year because we have Jijit Suju, Sujo, Jijit Sujo that came out in 2018 and I've got to say man I dropped the ball with not discovering Riol earlier because this is an absolutely phenomenal release. I have no qualms in saying that this is one of the best electro-pop, pop, dance pop, J-pop, all kinds of pop, if you will, releases in recent years. And, you know, it's one of those things where it's like if I had discovered her sooner, she would have been really high on a year-end list, even the decade list. But what can you do? You can't get onto everything uh, as soon as you want to and you always discover th discover things later than you would like and Riol is truly the perfect example of an artist like that. What made the album from this year great is kind of done a little bit better on Jijit Sujo because as good as this release is this year, Kinju, Kinju, Kinjitu, Kinjitu, this album here is like the one she fucking nailed because oh my god her performances on this are wild erratic just full of life she is just an absolutely ridiculous performer the kind of instrumentals that she chooses to sing over and even kind of rap at points she has this really great flow to her vocals uh, where she can just really speed up to the point where it does sound like she's rapping and uh, in a way that's kind of like similar to like Jackie Y or Javicki Y, that artist, you probably recognize that name if I say Javicki Y because there's a V in her name. Where like, yeah, sure, it's singing, but there is this kind of like rap flow to it. Or even the last Undiscovered Gems video I did, Aim to Kanmuri, where it's a similar type of uh, flow to the vocals. But back to the original point before I made those comparisons, the kind of instrumentals she chooses to be absolutely chaotic over are just like no other. Like you've heard these kinds of like EDM type instrumentals before, but just not in this context. Like it, it, it's, 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 it's just wow. The opening track where it sounds like a twisted carnival, this really weird, like kind of like clownish creepiness to it that is really hard to pinpoint and the way her voice just matches the beat and the way she's kind of flowing again i'll probably keep using that word because she just has this way of switching up the way she's singing and it just fits onto the beat in a, in, a, in a perfect way and the talent levels to make this work because i feel like with a different set of ears you could easily find what she's doing really annoying. But I think if you just give it a minute to sit with what she's doing, you actually start to appreciate how ridiculous and off kilter it is what she's doing with her voice and what she's doing with these instrumentals. The swagging vocal performance she brings on Bon No UG is so infectious, like the way she is just sounding cool as hell here. And then the drop, the instrumental drop, which makes it sound like this massive club anthem is uh, awe-inspiring, really. The hip-hop type beat that you get on Shinku Old Rose and 
somehow ends up sounding like the beat, the instrumental to Umbrella by Rihanna. If that's not a comparison that gets you interested in checking this out, then um, I think you're lost because Umbrella is an anthem, man. That song has aged so well. The clashing synths that come through on Mirage as well totally remind me of some like early 2010s trap EDM wonky type stuff. Definitely would uh, fit perfectly on a Hudson Mohawk album, to be honest. This would be the type of thing I think he'd deliver. But the, the, the cream of the crop, the, 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 the cream of the crop, the top of the top, the best of the best track on this album is 10 to 1. This song, holy fucking shit, the beat on this one is so thick. God damn, the bass is pounding. And then the way she like leads into like the drop of the song, I just am absolutely amazed by. The way she uses like the breathy vocals on this part is stellar, like god damn. The, the 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 way she can perform like this she just gives you something completely different on every track which i think was what made me find the latest album really great in its own right but then it's really nothing until you hear this one because like this is the one where you just pick out all these different little details that she comes through with and uh, yeah you just become wowed by her as a performer. Surely one of the most expressive and exciting voices in music at the moment, and it's an undiscovered gem. Like, this is something that I feel needs way more attention than it's getting, and uh, it's weird because she should be massive. She should be massive in all countries, really, especially given the rise of K-pop at the moment and how we're seeing a lot more K-pop artists come through in the Western world and become huge names. BTS is a perfect example of that. But you would think the same would be for J-pop artists too, because they're delivering just stellar music and real is the front runner for me at the moment in terms of what i've discovered out of that genre because i just think she's totally one of a kind you could pit, you could pit her against some of the biggest names at the moment in in the western world from america and the uk and really there is no one else out there that sounds anything like her I urge you to check this out i think this could be a big album for many people i think there's a lot of potential for this to become a huge favorite for you just as it did for me this year in 2020 definitely one of the best discoveries i found in 2020 which gives me the idea of maybe doing a video like that at the end of the year like top 10 best albums i discovered this year because this is definitely one of the best that i have discovered in 2020 so hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you check this album out based on my recommendation and hopefully you have a good day thank you for watching let me know your thoughts on this album if you have already checked it out do subscribe if you haven't already hit that notification bell too so you don't ever miss videos like this or any other video that i do and yeah have a good day and goodbye